Good morning. It's situated in your seat, lengthen through the crown. Move her out and get, get the wiggles out. Move a little bit. Today we're going to have focus on letting go. Letting go of things. The quote that I used today was the key to happiness is knowing you have the power to choose what to accept and what to let go. So just come to stillness, root through your sit bones, lengthen through your crown, engage through your abdominal wall just slightly, supporting your spine. I feel like my back could pop. Shoulders stacked over hips. Eyes closed, come into your breath. I want you to make your breaths a little bit longer. And I want you to make your breath, your inhale and your exhale about the same length as best you can. Choosing to take control of the breath. You're not quite filling up as far as you can, but they're longer breaths than what you would do naturally. And then I want you to let your belly go and kind of slouch. Let your shoulders slouch forward and keep that deeper, deeper breath. Where do you feel unsupported? Where does your be breathing feel constricted? Do you feel like your breath is being forced to other areas? Then when you're up tall, When I'm slouching forward, my shoulders are dipped forward a little bit. My head is kind of, chin is kind of forward of the neck. I feel like I'm forcing that deeper breath is up here higher, up behind my clavicles on my upper back. It's the same length that I was making them when I was up tall. So sit up tall again and have the same length of breath. If it helps for you to count, counting in and out three or four. And where do you feel the breath? Where do you feel the majority of the breath? Like I almost feel like mine is pretty centrally located in my chest and it just kind of feels like a bellows that's opening and closing. I don't feel a lot in the top of my lungs or upper back. And then I want you to slouch again. Shoulders come forward. It's like your chin juts out to find a comfortable spot on your head and your neck. Count out the same breath, the same inhale and exhale, three or four. So if there's not enough space for your breath, can you imagine what other parts of your anatomy are making room, not necessarily suffering, but are pinched or trying to find space as you as you breathe and that diaphragm comes down through your through your organs where everything's trying to move around and find a little bit of space? and then come back up to seated tall, rooting through the sit bones, lengthening through the crowns, small um, abdominal wall 
contraction. And that same three to four count breath. We have lots more space. Joe and I are finding that in his um, his um, EKD kidney diagnosis, he has a 10 centimeter, maybe a little bit larger cyst on one of his kidneys. He says he always feels like that, that stuck forward, like everything's kind of being squished. And he's been learning to sit up tall on breathe so he has space for everything and doesn't feel like his breathing is getting shallower and shallower which is also then providing him with headaches and almost a breathlessness feeling to drop your right ear to the right side and flip your left hand over. Breathe into the side of your le left side of your neck. Lift your chin, dropping your head back just slightly, not a lot. And then bring your chin forward towards the right clavicle. Open up through the back of the neck left side, start to take the head back in space, chin lifts forward, don't lift too high or you'll start to feel pinching in the back of your neck. And then come back forward, opening up the back side, left side of the neck. Tucking the chin in, kind of this, the right edge side of your chin, tucking it in towards the right clavicle. And breathe. Go ahead and slide the left arm off the lap. And roll the right ear to stack right over the left shoulder, lifting the chin back to a more neutral position. And then sit up tall again. If you've let yourself hunch over. Take your right arm out to the side at shoulder level, palm up. Bend your elbow and place the upper palm kind of on the top of your head. Keel of the hand on the top, wrapping the upper palm over the left side. Engage the fingers like you're gripping a basketball and then relax the arm. Press the heel of your hand into the crown of your head and push the head back up to neutral. Relax the arm down, both arms in your lap. Roll your shoulders a little bit. Turn your head right and left. The left side is good and stretched. Maybe do some circles with your nose, both directions. And relax back to a neutral position. Realign your spine, stack your shoulders over your hips. And we're gonna drop the left ear to the left side and flip the right hand over. So the palm is up on our lap. Breathing into the right side of our neck. Lifting the chin slightly. You don't want to crush, crunch the back of your neck or pinch. Our back neck vertebrae, the back side of them kind of overlap one over the top to protect the uh, spinal cord. Slowly start to tuck forward to protect the spinal cord and help to protect from uh, 
your head going backwards too far. Tucking your chin into your left clavicle. Opening up the back left side of the neck. Right side, sorry, right side, right side. And then start to move the head back in space again, lifting the chin slightly. You may feel it right, that jawbone right at the edge of your jawbone under your ear. Feel a stretch through that part of the neck. And then tuck your chin forward again, slowly moving the outside edge of your left chin kind of pulling in towards your left clavicle. Slide your right hand off of your lap. Center up your left ear over your left shoulder. Realign your spine in case you started to lean to one side. Take your left arm out, shoulder level, palm is up, bend the elbow, placing the heel of your hand in the center of your crown, and then wrapping the fingers over the top above your ear. Engage the fingers to, as if you're holding a basketball, and then relax the arm. Breathe, press the heel of your hand into the crown. Use the hand arm to press the head back up. Releasing the hand, turn your head side to side, gently. Circling your nose in the front, go both ways. And relax, roll out your shoulders, arch and contract your back. Let's place our hands, palm up about shoulder level, elbows are still in. Imagining that we have this gift that we're going to give away. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, round your shoulders forward, drop your head, extend your arms out, give it away. Inhale, sit up tall, draw the arms back in. Lengthen tall, exhale, round and give. Inhale, stack the spine, sit up tall. Exhale, round and give. Inhale, sit up tall. Last one, exhale, give. Inhale, sit up tall. Keeping your elbows close to your body, open your hands out to either side, like you've got two trays of drinks on either side. We're gonna take a nice deep breath. Exhale and extend and give them out. Inhale, bring them in. We're not moving the spine this time. Exhale, extend out. This is your shoulder. Inhale in. And exhale, extend out. Inhale in. Exhale, extend out and hold. Got a hair tickling me. Take a deep breath. Exhale and start to teeter totter to the right. Arms stay lined up. Inhale back to center. Exhale, teeter totter to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, teeter totter to the right. Inhale back to center. 
Exhale, teeter totter to the left. And do one more on both sides. Inhale back to center, using that core to help the movement. Teeter tottering right. Inhale, center. And last one, teeter totter left. Actually, was that the first one? I don't remember. If you need to do another one on the other side, do another one. Relax your arms, roll your shoulders. Sorry, my nose itches. Why is my nose itch so much when I get on camera? Trying really hard not to smack the mic. All right, I'm going to get my blanket out of the way, scooch my body forward. We're going to do some breathing while we lift our legs. I'm going to take the right leg out first. So if you need to turn to the side so you have more of your left cheek on, you can. Extending your foot, but a micro bend in the knee. So you're not locking it out straight, but it's extended. I'm going to turn to this side so maybe you can see it a little bit better. I don't know why I thought that that would work. Let's turn to this side. It is what it is, right? All right. Leg is extended out with a micro bend in the knee. Lengthen tall through your spine. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale and root. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Trying not to lean back. Stay up tall. Deep breath in, up. Exhale, down. One more inhale, lift and exhale down and relax, shake it out. Take your leg out to the side. We're gonna just stretch it out. My glutes kind of hanging off. So if you wanna turn to the side and hang off, you wanna make sure your foot is nice and straight. Your knee is slightly bent and it's actually off to the direct side of you. It's not forward or too far back, it's directly to the side. And then try and center your hips. Like I'm trying, the, my hip is hiking at the moment. Try and center your hips back down. And roll your foot out like you're going to put the outside edge of your foot on the floor. It may not touch and that's fine. But roll that foot outward. You get some inner thigh stretch. We're facing over the left leg. Breathe. Every time I look over there, there's a big ring, and then I look over here, and there's a shadow ring. To take your right hand down your straight leg, take your left arm up overhead, deep breath. Exhale, lean right slightly, not too far. Come back up on your inhale and relax the arm down. Now we're going to do the front of that leg. So we're going to do our one cheek on, one cheek off. Taking us all the way over. Drop the knee. Relaxing our foot. I would prefer you not be on your toes. If you are uncomfortable with your foot relaxed, you can put a block or a pillow or a blanket or something underneath your ankle. Rolled up towel just so you're not engaging that foot at all. Lengthen tall through the crown, engage the dropped glute and tuck your tail forward. Try and relax those toes back there. Stretching through the front of the thigh. Hold on to the seat of the chair with the left hand. Right arm is gonna inhale up. Exhale, lean left slightly. Keep the hips lined up. Don't let this right hip drop. And come back down. And slide that foot forward. We're gonna do all of that on the other side. I'm gonna to turn to the right and extend my left leg. Toes up, thigh engaged enough to have a soft bend in the knee. 
lengthen through the crown. We're going to be lifting on an inhale. So first we're just gonna take a nice rooting breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift and exhale and lower. The lift is quick, lower is slower. Trying not to lean back. When you're ready, the next one. Exhale and lower. One more. Exhale and lower. And relax. Walk that leg out to the side. Be on the inside of your arch, inside of your foot. Make sure it's directly out from the side. It's not too far forward, not too far back. Your chest is facing over your right knee. And I want you to kind of roll that foot out so that the outside edge of that foot may not be touching, but it's closer to the floor. You're on more of the sole of your foot. So your left foot, your toes are facing forward, just like your right foot. Like they're in alignment, but it's one foot's way out there. That makes sense. So don't let your toes be out over here, 45. Don't be in, have them inward. Feel the inner thigh stretch slightly. Breathe. And we're going to take our left arm down our left thigh. Right arm is going to inhale up and lean left a little bit. And come back up. And relax. Back to one cheek on, one cheek off. Relaxing that foot back there, not being up on your toes. Use that block, pillow, blanket, towel, whatever under your ankle if you need to. Hold on with your right hand to the back of the chair. Squeeze your dropped glute and tuck your tail forward enough to feel some stretch in the front of that hip and thigh. Outside arm, inhale up, lean right. And back up and relax down. All the foot up, walk them forward. So we did uh, front, back, inner, only thing left is outer. So we're gonna do the outer with our figure four. Drawing the right leg up, flex the right foot slightly, let the ankle hang off the thigh bone of the left leg. Length and tall. And I want you to inhale and lift your heart, arch your back a little bit, draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, lift the heart. Exhale, round. So as you're inhaling and exhaling, doing it your own pace, you're feeling that stretch and release of the outer thigh and glute a little bit. Feeling some in your back. Maybe feel some in your inner thigh. Which one feels better to you? Feels like a better stretch. Feels like you want to hang out there for a minute. Go ahead and do that if you want to for a couple of breaths. If arching feels really good, breathe there for a little bit. If rounding feels really good, just breathe there for a little bit or just keep alternating between the two with your breath. Inhale is opening and exhaling is closing. And I'm really liking going back and forth. The more I go back and forth, it's like I can feel those muscles kind of releasing a little bit. They're getting warmed up, getting a little more comfortable. And then sit up nice and tall. Lengthen through the crown, engage through the abs. Starting from right above the belly button, I want you to start to rotate over towards the right knee. So right above the belly button, start to move 
in your back. And then you're moving the lower ribs, the upper ribs, the neck, and the head. Don't move the shoulders. Head goes a long ways compared to the rest of the body. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Shake them out if you need to. If, if they're trying to yank you over using that shoulder, get them to relax. Just shrug them off. Let them go. And then slowly start to come back again from right above the belly button. Lower chest, upper chest, head starts floating back all the way to the front. We're gonna go the other direction this time. Go over our the foot direction instead of the knee direction. So resituate yourself if you need to, lengthen tall, deep breath. Start from right above the belly button, start rotating. Don't let the shoulders take control of this motion. You might have to resituate your hands to hold on to your thigh, but don't yank on your thigh and use your arm muscle to rotate. Use your back muscle, muscles. Turning your head all the way over the left shoulder. Starting from above the belly button again, start to rotate back. And relax your leg, shake it out, switch sides, left one comes up, hangs over the thigh bone, soft flex in the foot, rooted over both sit bones, and we're going to start our breathing, inhaling, lifting through the heart, shoulders go down your back, exhale, round over. Inhaling on our lift, exhaling on our round. So on this side, I want you to be mindful of your pelvis. Is your pelvis rocking forward and back? Because that's not really what we're trying to do. See if you can do this motion with your pelvis stationary. It's very easy to rock forward on our pelvis to arch our back and lift our heart and make it really big. We don't need to do that. Very easy for us to round over and roll onto the back of our sit bones, rounding our entire back. This is upper back stuff and outer thigh. Try and keep your pelvis in place. How much smaller your movement becomes. If you find a spot you want to stop and hold for a minute, you can. And then center yourself up. Start our rotation from right above the belly button, rotating over the knee. It's almost like one vertebrae at a time just clicked a little bit to the left, a little left, a little left, a little left. Not using our arms, not yanking with our hands. Turning our head. And then rotating back, starting low into the belly first. Low ribs, upper ribs, neck, and head. Roll it if you want. We're going to start rotating over the foot to the right now. Lengthening tall on our big breath. And then start to rotate from above the belly button. 
readjusting the hands if you need to. Turning the head. And rotate back from the belly, through the chest, to the neck, and through the head. And release your leg down. Shake them out a little bit, bounce your toes. Hands on your thighs, close your eyes for a minute. How do your thighs feel, inner and outer, front and back, feet? How does your back feel, low back, mid back, upper back, neck? Do we leave something out? Walk your feet to the 45 degrees open, open knees. You can come more forward on your chair if you want to or center yourself up. Open the knees so they stay right over the tops of the ankles so they're engaged. They remain engaged throughout this entire exercise. Take a nice deep breath up. Lengthen from tailbone to crown. Belly's drawn in as you come forward. Weight to the feet. Parallel to the floor, start to round your shoulders and drop your head. Keep the thighs engaged. Keep the knees open over the ankle. Walk both hands over to the right foot. You can actually take your right hand on the other side of the right knee, but don't pull it inwards. Keep resisting and keeping it open over the ankle. Walk your hands back to the center. Belly's engaged, thighs are engaged. Walk your hands left. Walk back to center, drop your head, root through the soles of your feet, lift and lower your toes, get them nice and rooted, root from the joint of the big toe all the way to the end, the joint of the little toe, root through the soles, squeeze your butt, flatten your back and bring yourself up. Relax your thighs. Shake them out. We're going to do it again. So give them a break. Shaking or patting or both, whichever feels the best. All right. Engage knees over ankles, lengthen through the crown. Inhale, arms up. Without arching your back, reach through the fingertips, drawing the belly in as you come forward. Root through the soles of the feet. Feel the weight transition. Round the shoulders, drop the head, hands on the mat. You can be in spider fingers up on the fingertips, palms of the hands. You can be on the knuckles of the hands. You can have a block or a book under you. Right hand is going to go right in the middle of your chest on the floor. Left one is going to open and you're going to rotate to the left slightly. You can just open your shoulder, open your whole arm, load it back down, switch left hand in the middle under your chest, open right. Knees are over ankles, don't let them slide in, rotate back down. Lift the right arm right next to your ear, reach it forward and back down, nice flat back, supporting your spine. Left one comes up next to the ear and reaches overhead, back down. Now we're gonna go to the side, right out to the side, like half an airplane and down. Left out to the side, half of an airplane and down. We're gonna do airplane, so root through the feet. Squeeze those glutes a little bit more, lengthen through the crown, open up into airplane. Breathe. Draw the abs in, round your back, drop your head and arms, and then roll yourself up. 
all the way up. Bring your legs in, shake it out. We're going to come standing for our balance. Whew. Well, if your legs aren't tired after this one. I'm going to put the chair to one side so you have it. I'm going to start with my right side, chairs on my left side. Weight on the left foot, right toes are going to be pointed forward. Perfect little ballerina. Pointed forward, but I want you to ha have your hips nice and level. Your toe, right toes are on the floor, but they hardly have any weight. They're just helping with the wiggles. Hands can be on the chair or hips or one in one. And I want you to lift the right foot enough to where you're still touching, but there's no weight on it at all. And I want you to slide a big arc all the way around to the back without moving your pelvis, without arching your back, and then slide an arc all the way back to the beginning. No weight, just touching the floor. Again, slide all the way out. Try and stay long in the crown. Embrace the wiggle in the movement. Rooting through that left foot, we're sliding back forward and then slide it all the way under your hip. Weights on both feet, work it out. Very nice. Back to the left foot, same leg. Balance on the same leg. I want you to take those toes forward again. From the hip joint, I want you to rotate the whole leg outward so the heel is facing in and the toes are facing out, but the foot is still pointed. Lengthen through the crown, draw the lower abs in. We're not going to arc in this position. This is not a, a movement position. This is just a balance and stretch position. Breathe. And rotate the whole leg so it's back to neutral. Heel is towards the floor, not touching. Toes are pointing forward. Now arc it to the outside. Just take it to the outside edge. We're going to do rotation in this position. So you're going to rotate so the heel goes towards the floor. Toes are up. Toes are pointed out. Then you're going to rotate in the hip so that the heel is to the back and the toes are to the front. Okay, now we're going to slide it in this position back to the back. One more time, we're going to rotate the whole leg so the heel goes towards the left side. Kind of opens up your hip. It makes you want to turn. So you're going to try not to turn. And then rotate the whole leg back and slide the foot in. All right, move, switch chair to the other side or move to the turnaround, whichever you want to do. Worn out the left one for balance. So right side is gonna root in the right side, left foot's gonna come forward. Weight is rooted in the right sole. Left toes are touching. They got a little bit of weight on them as you try and find your balance, lengthening through the crown of our head. Hold on if you need to hold on, hands on your hips. If you're holding on, try not to hold on for dear life. Engage through your abdominal wall. Lift the toes off the ground enough so you're touching, but you don't have any weight on it. Without moving the rest of your body, this is all in through the joint of the hip. Start to arc all the way around. When you get to the side, try not to lean over. All the way to the back without arching your back and then slide it all the way around back forward. And one more time, all the way around, nice big arc. Find a focal point and take it all the way back around to the front. 
and relax. Walk it out. We're going to do this, the um, rotations now. Weight back on the right foot. Take the left toes forward. Lengthen tall. Engage through the abs, rooted through the sole of that right foot. Your knee, right knee is not locked. Okay, rotating in the left hip. We're going to rotate heel in. So your inner thigh is being presented forward. Try not to put any weight on that leg. And rotate heel back down to neutral. Take the leg out to the side without leaning over. Try and take weight off the toes. If you can't take weight off the toes, that's okay. I'd rather you be upright than trying to lift and you start this whole leaning process. Okay, so now we're gonna rotate again. We're gonna rotate the heel goes down and the toes, that leg starts to face your left. And then rotate it back to neutral. Slide it to the back. Rotate the whole leg, heel goes in. It's like you're trying to, your hips feel like they want to open up. Try and keep them as much forward as you can. Rotate it back to neutral and slide in. Shake it out, because now your right leg is tired. I might be wearing your legs out today a little bit. Surprise, surprise. Let's go to the floor and we're gonna go straight to our back. We're gonna give our hips some, actually don't go to your back. I want you to sit for a minute. We're gonna give our hips some love on seated position first. So sit with your feet out in front of you, but your knees bent. Um, your feet are kind of more at a 45 on either side. You might not have, you may feel like you have to lean back in order to sit this way. And you can, you can lean on your hands if you want to. And we're gonna rock side to side. Or you can really try and work your core, have your hands up and try and rock side to side. But it's perfectly acceptable to lean back and rock side to side. It's flopping in a seated position. All right, both knees are gonna go over to the right side. I said right and then I went left. Both knees are gonna go over to the right, the right side. You're gonna be sitting more on your right glute. Your left glute may not even be touching the floor and that's perfectly fine. And I want you to draw your left heel in a little bit further and open your left your right heel in a little bit further and open your left knee out a little bit more. Hands are going to come forward onto the mat. So I have been sitting on the long end of my mat. So facing the long end, I'm now kind of rotated a little bit and facing the short end. And I'm just kind of gonna arch and contract my back my, and get some more stretch in the inner and outer thigh a little bit. I'm doing the arching by road by the hips it's from the hips forward and back. It's not from the upper back. If you find a sweet spot, you just want to sit and hang out there for a minute. That's fine. And walk your hands back up. Take your feet out to the original V position, leaning back and rock side to side again. And now we're gonna go over to the left side, draw the left heel in, draw the right heel in and open up the knee a little bit more, hands on either side of the left knee and just round and contract your back getting that glute stretch, glute massage. Coming back up off of your hands, slide both feet to the short, one short end of your mat 
and roll yourself all the way to the floor. Drawing your knees up, roll out a little bit or flop. If you prefer to flop, then you can flop. Bring the right knee into your chest, straighten out the left leg. Take your left hand on the outside of your right thigh, squeeze both glutes supporting through the hips, roll to the left, stay stacked. Right arm comes outside, opens up. And roll your hips back to center. Switch legs, left leg in, right leg straight, right hand on the outside of left leg, roll right. Engage through the hips and thighs, keeping the hips stacked. Left arm comes out to the side at shoulder level, open up. Roll yourself back. both feet on the floor and prepare yourself for Shavasana. Getting all of your creature comforts. Getting your wiggles out. Bolsters, pillows, blankets, whatever you need, eye mask. Lying on your back, hips and shoulders are lined up. Low back is supported. No matter if you have your legs out straight and flat on the floor or if you have them up over something to give your back some more support, let your feet fall open. And I want you to squeeze your right glute as hard as you can and let that energy go all the way down that right leg, squeezing thigh, calf, flexing foot hard, and then let it go. On the other side, squeeze the glute really hard, engage all the way down the leg through the thigh, calf, flex of the foot, squeeze, 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 and let it go. Now both legs, squeeze your glutes, draw your low belly in, engage through your thighs, your calves, your feet, flex hard and let them go. And breathe. Right shoulder, like the whole upper back quadrant. Squeeze and lift the shoulder next to your ear, squeeze your bicep, squeeze your forearm, make a fist, squeeze so it shakes and then let it go. Other side, squeezing through that whole shoulder quadrant, through the bicep, forearm, make a fist, squeeze till it shakes, and let it go. Both sides, squeeze your shoulders in or up, biceps, forearms, hands, squeeze, shake, let it go. I want you to scrunch up your face. I want you to scrunch your mouth in, scrunch your eyes like you're tight, closing them really, 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 really tight. Make your mouth really small, squeeze it all in. Shake and let it go. Take a couple of deep breaths. How do those muscles feel? How does your breathing feel? As we squeezed everything nice and hard, we created this energy path and now we've let it go. And so it doesn't know really where to go. 
So your body may feel a little tingly, a little, Joe would say buzzed, a little buzzy feeling. As that energy begins to settle. Like we prepped everything to run or to, uh, you know, that fight or flight, we kind of activated the, the flight, the fight or flight. And we didn't go anywhere. We didn't do anything. We didn't fight anything. We didn't run. Just letting our bodies sit in that. Let it relax. the feeling gently begins to subside. In that moment where we created this urgency, there was no urgency, but we created this urgency in our body but we didn't follow through with it. It's almost like allowing your body to practice release. One of our favorite sayings is what you do in practice, you will do in the game. If you've ever been an athlete, you know that they drill things over and over and over and over. So when it happens in the game, you don't even have to think, your body reacts. Using the same concept. Activating that, that fight or flight, that energy level. When you get angry is very similar to when you get angry or, or um, scared. And it does activate your fight or flight, but you just let it go. Can help you to diffuse yourself better. May not diffuse the situation, but it keep, can help you keep from making it worse, right? Oh, for just a moment, I want you to think back we're going to go back maybe 10 years. In the past 10 years, can you think of a situation where you're, you were heightened? You were either heightened in sadness, heightened in anger, heightened in anxiety and fear. Can you think of something in the past 10 years that had you really heightened? on an emotional level, physical level, your body responds physically. And can you feel your body begin to react as you even think about that situation? Maybe your heart beats a little bit faster. Maybe your breathing gets a little bit faster. Maybe your muscles even twitch as they're, they want to react. They remember the reaction. Now, can you replace that memory, that vision, that thought process? Can you replace that with standing in front of the ocean? Watching the waves at your feet? Watching the horizon? the two blue colors coming together, the sound of the water. Can you feel yourself relax? Can you feel the physical effects of that memory start to dissipate? Continue to watch the water. Continue to watch the waves. 
nice, gentle, slow waves coming in. See the ripples on the water from the breeze. Have you ever sat and watched a wave come in and see the different colors in that one particular wave? Have you ever seen a fish in the wave or maybe um, larger shells that are being tossed? Do you remember what it feels like to be standing on the beach and it's really warm? And then that cool water just laps at your feet. Have you watched the pelicans fly really low out along one of the further breakers, checking those waves to see if there's a fish in it, checking to see if there's one close enough to the surface to dive in for dinner. Sometimes they look as though their wings would clip the wave as it breaks over the first, second, and third sandbars. Have you ever sat and watched the sandpipers as their little legs move so quickly from one thing to the next, as they search through the piles of sargasm or check the edge of the water as it flows away to see if anything was left. Completely oblivious to everything around them on a mission, constant movement, rarely standing still. And have you watched a small flock of seagulls resting on the beach, all of their faces facing into the wind? Barely a feather ruffles. Like little decoys sitting on the sand. Nearly motionless. Take a nice deep breath, filling up your lungs. And as you exhale, let that just fall away. Releasing yourself to your body. Take another deep breath. Exhale, wiggling fingers and toes and wrists and ankles and knees and elbows shoulders and hips, spine, neck. Creating a little bit of movement, waking up the body. Draw one knee at a time into your chest, roll for a moment. And then roll over onto your side, stack shoulders, hips and knees. Take a few breaths. Reminding yourself that in times of high adrenaline, anxiety, anger, whatever it may be, close your eyes, take a few breaths, envision that ocean, envision the, envision the waves and the birds. Prepare yourself to have a well thought out response. And to find peace in the decision. Gently peel yourself up off the mat, finding a seat, sitting up tall, turn your head as far as you can to the right. And then turn as far as you can to the left. Back to center, take your chin down. 
Lift your chin up. Back to center. Inhale, both arms lifting all the way up. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. Another big breath. Inhale up. Hands together overhead. Exhale, bring them down to your chest as you flutter your eyes open. And namaste.